As the ag industry continues to celebrate May Beef Month, a local family-owned business in Tabor, Iowa, provides a high-quality product to your dinner table. Justin and Jamie Ewalt are the sole owners of Wabansi Ridge Beef along with their children Tegan, Riley, and Chance. The Ewalt family's cattle feeding roots go back four generations. They started selling their own beef in the year 2017 and decided to expand those efforts to an in-store setting in 2020. We actually started in a little square uh, in the corner of our shop on the farm and that was right about April a year ago, uh, right when the pandemic exploded and you know, the, the meat shortages that were happening and uh, really just took off. We instantly knew we were not big enough to service what we were doing. Um, so started looking in town here for a spot and um, uh, found this building that was vacant. The Wabansi Ridge Beef Store resides at 702 Main Street in Tabor. The building has been fully remodeled and Justin says it features a wide variety of meat selections straight from the Ewalt family farm. Our feedlot's probably not a traditional, you know, as, as you think about a large scale operation, we're about 100 head. Uh, max and we have three or four different pins based on size that we, that we move the calves through. Um, when it comes time for processing, we use two different lockers. Um, we use actually three. We use uh, Wahoo in uh, Wahoo, Nebraska. Uh, they are a federally licensed facility, so that's the meat we use to ship, you know, out of state. Um, we also use that in the farmers market in, in Omaha. Um, or when we're going across state lines. Uh, Minden Meats does the bulk of our processing in Minden, Iowa. Uh, Jeff's been uh, great at, at helping us get the ball rolling and walking us through some of those requirements with the USDA, and making sure that we're not, uh, you know, just that we're not wasting time chasing, chasing things when he's been a great resource for us. And then we also use Gress and Hancock uh, for, for processing. Using locally grown feed products, Justin says the animals in their care are not fed any antibiotics or hormones and are not implanted. For customers, there are a variety of ways to stay up to date on deals, store hours, and other information from Wabansi Ridge Beef. The big one is Facebook, uh, Wabansi Ridge Beef um, Facebook page. We're also um, on Twitter, um, at Beef Ridge um, is our Twitter handle. Uh, you can get us there. Um, my my cell phone seven one two three five five twenty three hundred. You know that's <clears throat> that's openly used for for anything that you need if you don't have social media. Uh, we also have a faith or a, a website, uh, Wabansi Ridge Beef uh, website that you can go on and, and get some additional info and, and place orders there. More expansion plans are in the works for the Ewald family as they will soon be utilizing the meat department in the former Tabor grocery store to cut their own meat and will also be using the walk-in freezer for storage. For the Iowa Agribusiness Radio Network, I'm Brent Barnett.